mamas and welcome to the mama makeup corner which is literally in my bedroom corner today we're gonna do an eyeshadow palette haul from the month of may i am working my way into a no buy starting june now i didn't go crazy with like a lot of other products i've got plenty of foundation powders blushes the works but i love collecting eyeshadow palettes and all of these i had some sort of coupon a discount they were on sale let's go over all the eyeshadow palettes that i bought in the month of may First, I have three ABH palettes, and these all came in my Ipsy Icon box. One of them was an add-on, which was the Modern Renaissance. Everybody has raved about this palette for years. I never once thought it looked intriguing. I never once thought, oh, I must have that palette. And then I saw that it was on a pretty steep discount and was like, okay, great, why not? I'm still not terribly impressed with this palette. I mean, it must be the formula, don't get me wrong. I see a lot of good neutrals in here and then some fun shades. It doesn't go terribly deep, but it is deep enough for everyday looks. Plenty of mattes, plenty of shimmers. I just don't get the appeal, I guess. I don't know, but it will be an interesting palette to play with. I am in love with this packaging though. I love this packaging, the velvety smooth like texture. It's just something different to have in your collection, you know? If I ever get around to doing a makeup look with this, I will definitely share it with you guys. Next up, I have the Soft Glam 2. This is the mini version of her Soft Glam palette from ABH, Anastasia Beverly Hills. It has that same velvet packaging. Oh, I love it. And I already love this palette so much more than the Modern Renaissance palette. This one has some neutrals, but it goes all the way to black. And then the two shimmers in here, one is great for every day, one is great for night. But then there's like this pop of like a yellowish tan. I just think this one is so much better. And this one came in the Ipsy Icon box, so it was discounted. And I'm excited to give that a try. Again, I love this packaging. It's so great. Next up, we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Primrose. This was also in the Icon box. Unfortunately, mine came broken. Mine came broken. Um, and it, here's the deal. If a shadow is like cracked, that's one thing. Or if, like a pan falls out, but it, the eyeshadow is still in the pan. These came completely shattered and have made a mess. I've cleaned it up as best I can. I think it looks better. I am most excited about the two blushes. Like, the other shades in here are great, but I was most excited about the blushes in this palette. I love a good orange blush, and then Saddle looks almost like it could be a bronzer. We'll see what happens. Another Ipsy palette that I got that was on sale was the Iconic London Beachside Babe Eyeshadow Palette. I did not get the BoxyCharm. If you do BoxyCharm, but you sign up for the Icon Box, it upgrades that month to the Icon Box, so you don't get the box of the boxy charm and this was the palette that was in it the beachside babe this is so pretty and i was really sad that i didn't get it so it went on the flash sale i snagged it and again it's discounted it's much cheaper i just love that there's lots of neutrals in here but all of these shimmers are so fun and then ocean deep is that deep green blue shade oh, i just love this this makes me want to go to the beach but like wear this first and that gold shade this this looked like a really fun palette and i really really wanted it next up i have another ipsy purchased palette this was deeply on sale it's the natasha denona zendo palette i have only ever bought one natasha denona palette at full price everything else has been at a discount or with a coupon and i just too rich for my blood it really is but this zendo palette where it was on discount and it's one that i've wanted it is an older palette but it screams beach to me summer fun i just love the look of this palette and so when it was on sale i snagged it for sure the bottom shade yama and then mantra up in the top right corner and aura over on the left in the middle those are some of the shades that really called out to me. The other ones are great. I love seeing those neutrals in there. But then you've got something really fun like Breath and Relief, which are both more brighter pink and green, but not really like neon. So this was more of a burnt summer sort of look, and I am so excited to get used out of this. Packaging on this is stunning. I love the mini duos that I have of, you know, this packaging, but it gets so dirty and that's not really like an issue for me it's not like anybody is gonna see it and go how dare you have a dirty eyeshadow palette it was fun while it lasted 
Next up, I have a quad palette from Uma Beauty. This is the eye service eyeshadow quad in the shades Blazon. This palette screams summer to me. There is a yellow, a burnt orange, a more of a deep gold, and then like a, uh, I don't know what you'd call that, maroonish orange. <laughs> I don't know. I saw this in the store and thought, I don't have a single Uma Beauty palette. I want to try this one out. Next up is a collab piece that I have been looking at and I waited until I had a coupon to get it. I wasn't sure I was getting a coupon, but once it came in my email, I was like, yes, I'm getting that. This is Rude Cosmetics Mentos Beauty Mixed Fruit Pastel Palette. It's Mentos. And I had a package of Mentos the other day and was like, oh, I wonder if that palette that palette's on sale. Now, when I got the palette, the grape shade had was like stuck over sweet mint. The pan had completely come loose and it had glued itself in between intense and sweet mint. And so that's why there's all that purple there. And you can see where my nail dug in when I was trying to get it up. The, the, uh, the top two rows are what I'm really mostly excited about. Okay, mamas, that was my mini eyeshadow palette haul. I just love eyeshadow palettes. They're really fun. I love dipping into all the different shades and colors. And there's something about seeing all the shades that you want in one palette. I have recreated some palettes that I'm not able to purchase due to price or timing. They sold out, whatever. I have recreated palettes on my own. But it is fun to see them all in just one packaging and be able to reach for just one product at a time. If you like this sort of content with haul videos, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you like more. If you want me to do more videos like this, leave me a comment. Also, please subscribe to my channel. Any love helps. And then go to Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok and follow me there as well. All right, mamas, have a good one. Bye, mamas.